firstly the weaver opens the shirt by depressing a treadle and start weaving by putting the weft in sections according to the designs in carpet having designs which has more more than one color in the weft direction the weft used cannot be in continuous but in sections of smaller length according to the design required in such a case the continuity of weft is maintained by joining the sections of weft threads by interlocking to enable the weft to bend over the warp conveniently and to conceal the warp threads completely the weft threads are put slacks in the shed after changing the shed by depressing the next treadle and by proper manipulation they are brought to the fell of the fabric keeping the slackness of the weft as it is fell of the fabric means close to the last weft already inserted this process is repeated throughout to weave a required length the carpets are also made in solid color where the weft is put in full stretch full width at a stretch after weaving the carpet is taken out of the loom and cut ends of the warp on both sides are drawn back to the body of the carpet taking alternate warp threads into the fabric usually finer yarn is used as warp viking coir yarn two ply threads aloe and five ply jute are commonly used as warp for weft finer alapat yarn soft twisted anjango yarn vikam yarn etc are used then we already discussed about the weaving procedure of marsuk carpet today i take the class about the weaving procedure of alapi carpet the weaving principle and method of weaving in this case is similar to marsuk weaving but the difference is that the warp threads works in pairs in the carpet the warp threads are drafted in the order 1122 that is the first two warp threads are drafted in the first heddle frame and the third and fourth warp threads are drafted through the second heddle frame and they are slayed two in a dent these arrangements of warp provide a rib effect in the direction of warp the reed used commonly are 30s and 36 these carpets are mainly made in number sizes and mostly with the simple designs and stripes of various color combinations the carpet after taking out the looms are finished at the edges by tucking in projecting alternate warp threads in the body of the carpet a length of about 1.5 inch to 2 inch the other alternate warp threads are cut off the finishing process is uh, run separately